is up everybody this is easy easy street gaming and bring you back to back player vs player videos finally last video we gave away one of the best kept secrets in brutal age we learned how to do the fake rally hide the rest of your troops teleport one tile away recall the fake rally and attack get safe the safe attack if you haven't seen it yet go back and watch the last video you missed a good video Today we go one step further, I'm going to expose all the dirty attacks that have been done to me pretty much. You'll learn how to do these attacks and every single person you try it on will cry, complain, tell you that, that it's unfair, just like I did. <laughs> so when are players most vulnerable to attack? If you guessed right after a rally while their army is headed home, you are right. If you've ever done a temple rally and then all of a sudden you are just as hurt as, as they were, you've just been hit by the back end attack. So let's say server wars upon you, the enemy servers in the temple, they have done a huge rally and it looks like they will take temple. What do you do? We'll go into some other things too here. So you see the good guys on the left, the bad guys on the right, they have a huge rally, they have two and a half million troops in there. They have uh, a really really good partners in there what you want to do is start sending one troop to temple with a diff different sets of partners you're gonna test out their partners be sure while you're engaged in server war or in temple war you keep all your troops safe keep them all hidden while you're testing out their partners with your partners uh, my little checklist is uh, you set a fake rally then you'll hide all your troops leave 10 or 20 in, in there in your outpost for partner testing uh, scout the other side over and over harass them <laughs> once you're safe you can start harassing them you want you want to light them up red as much as possible the reason is you is you're, you're really just distracting them uh, because you're going to try to find their other outpost if you're in server war and they have to jump over from the other server they'll be up in the upper left hand part of the map um, if you if it's this temple war and you're planning on attacking someone from another uh, another horde then you just find you have to find their other outposts the ones that's not around temple uh, prepare an advanced teleport once you found them you're waiting for one of one of these three things to, to happen um, once you or your clan or your server wins the wins the partner battle uh, you've been testing your partners and you finally win the partner battle then you can send a big rally to, to kick their troops out of temple um, that's one that the troops will come home um, B if they win temple then they'll send their troops home at the end or C, if, they, if you see them physically attack someone and you see their troops coming back to their outpost, watch for one of those three events to happen. All three of those means that their troops are coming back from temple or from an attack to their outpost where you can actually see them coming back to their outpost. Then you will jump to one of their other outposts, number two or three. Uh, like I said, you'll probably need an advanced teleport. You'll teleport one tile away from them and then you will recall the fake rally and now if you watch the last video we explain it a little better I'm not gonna go into it too much this video but you'll teleport one tile away recall the fake rally the fake rally has your exact army that you're going to attack with then you will attack from that one tile away once you attack and your troops get back you have to immediately get safe either set another fake rally or Teleport. I even had someone mention uh, in the last video uh, hit a random teleport. I think that's a good idea in some cases So the best time to attack is when their troops are returning to their outposts uh, You can do this in a number of different scenarios, but during temple wars uh, is one of the best and The key is to find their find one of their other outposts that are out of sight and then you constantly harass them and distract them so they're looking at, they're, they're worried about being attacked outright on their on the outpost that's next to Temple or that's right next to you that's that where you're where you're actually scouting them from, and then you'll teleport to one of their other outposts that they don't see, and then their screen lights up red, and before they can even react, they've already been attacked. One of the keys to this attack is to distract the enemy as much as possible. Some of the different techniques you can use is you can scout them multiple times just so they can they they're getting used to seeing their screen light up red over and over. If your clan or your server are involved with these attacks with you, then you can set multiple eight hour rallies. 
Uh, you can quit and restart them for the same reason. You just want to keep on lighting up their screen. You want them to see these fake rallies over and over. And then also make sure you keep on attacking with one troop as often as possible. Testing out their partners. Try to get a, win a winning pair of partners. Because you definitely want to send winning partners. Once you think they have seen that red under attack screen so many times that they may be a little off guard. It's time for the real thing. Remember timing is everything on these types of attacks. Uh, also, if the enemy is in temple, you can check the temple, check temple, and you can see how many troops from each player are in there. And ideally, you want to attack someone that does not have anti scout, because if they do, then they can probably hide troops on you, and you can you want to just attack them with that one march that's on the way back. Now remember, you need to stay safe at all times. So while you're planning and executing your attack, double check how your runes are set. Uh, that do you have your talent set for war? Do you need an extra march queue? Do you need uh, to increase your march size? Whatever it takes to accommodate all the troops you have. If you have a lot of troops to hide, it's, gonna, it's, a, it's a lot harder. So make sure that all the troops are safe and that you have a fake rally. And, and keep in mind, your fake rally is what you're going to use for your actual attack. So you want to use the exact army composition that, you ha that you're going to put in your fake rally. will be the exact army composition that you're going to use on your attack. And don't forget to bring some T1 troops along with your best troops, uh, match the partners to boost your army, and add partners that may decrease the, mor the morale of the enemy's army that will hurt your army. A little complicated. <laughs> For more information on that stuff, if you hadn't seen it yet, watch the video that we just put out. I already forgot the name of it. Wow. So I'm going to run down a couple more scenarios. we got three minutes left about, so... We have one, get them when they're on the way back to their base. But I've got a couple more <laughs> that have been used against me in the past. And they're really solid. It may take some practice to get used to. But if you practice doing some of these attacks, they are really hard to stop. So we'll start off with uh, in server war. We'll usually get all the invaders in the same area. So before the other server is able to even port over to your server, set up a couple of your out outposts up in that area. Kind of just hidden amongst all the other random outposts up there. That way you will be really close by when they port over to you. It's also a good place to catch people doing the random teleports because that's usually where they end up. Now this first one will take communication between you and the server without using the world chat because the other server will be able to see the world chat and this is something that you've seen you've probably seen done in your server it's the fake farmer it's basically when you'll send out one or two armies of t1 or t2 troops try to get them both in the same area if you're going to send out two two um different armies send them both out in the same areas where you can back up off the screen and see them both um as the invaders arrive they'll think that you kind of fell asleep on them and they will get ready to port onto the gatherers and the second they port to the gatherers, you want to port onto them. As soon as you do that, you'll recall the fake rally that you have all set and ready. That's what you'll do. <laughs> and again, remember, you might have to use an advanced teleport on this one too. So basically, you'll, you'll set out the farmers, the gatherers. You'll wait till the other server teleports right on top of your gatherers. As they send out troops to your gatherers, you can one tile away from them. And attack their outpost as they're attacking the farmers. It's a good trap. I like to call this the wounded warriors. And you get to do a little acting here. With this tactic you hide all of your troops. You have someone else on your server set fire to your outpost. Then you'll post it on world chat. And you'll complain on world chat. Saying that you thought you guys were friends. And why would you do this to? Why would they do this to you? You have to make sure you have some troops in the hospital. You have to make sure you have a small amount of troops at home. That way when the invaders get there. They can scout you. They'll see that there's something there. That you must have just got attacked. They'll pour it on top of you. As soon as they do. You will recall the fake rally. And you'll be able to actually attack them from within your own outpost. Just be careful if you have a 300 million player poured onto you. You better just back off. Another is another distract type maneuver. You can 
basically judging by their power you can tell how many troops they may have inside you know that someone that has 10 million power won't have one and a half million t4s inside their base so as you are looking around when you see someone that's a lot smaller that you know that you can handle without actually scouting them you will send a scout from a distant base make sure it's going to take five or six minutes for the scout to get there they will look and they'll see the scout coming from a long ways away you'll have time to once again use an advanced teleport teleport one tile away and, and attack before the scout actually gets to them catch them off guard it's happened to me before <laughs> probably happened to you too so hopefully one of these attacks will interest you these are all going to take a bunch of practice to get right um, you may not, you end up beating yourself up a little bit trying to uh, to get them down but these are all really good attacks that, that especially in server war where people don't really know you they don't know who the aggressive players are uh, remember you have to hide your troops well you have to set fa fake rallies and you have to attack with the exact army that's in your fake rally this is a huge part of the game um, it's something that if you don't do now you might as well learn it because these, that's what all the best players are doing they keep they keep their armies out of your reach then they use fake rallies then they recall them they attack you with the fake rally once they teleport to you anyone that's had an attack that's lasted one second that's what happened to you the attacks with the most success rate the most successful attacks are the ones where you're they're attacking the armies that are on the way back from a rally from temple from a totem they're on the way back to the outpost you hit them right right as they're getting back to the outpost um, watch the last video if you want some more details on how to hide the troops set fake rallies we went into great detail with that thanks to Bortmos from 323 so hope you liked the video this may take some practice for everyone to get it down but but practice and, and get all these different attacks in you want a whole you want a whole arsenal of different types of attacks just don't attack me with them I'm sick of people attacking me <laughs> till next time it's been easy take care everybody